I did a Course in Miracles conference in California. And I always just show up. I never know what the Holy Spirit or Jesus will say or what I will do. And so we had one session where the organizer said, someone will ask a question from the audience. They had a stopwatch. He said, David, you have two minutes to respond. <laughs> and then the other minister will have one minute to respond to your response, like a political uh, debate. I said, okay, I can do that. So somebody from the audience asked a profound question. I would start to speak. I would be in the middle of the sentence. Time. <laughs> My mouth was shut, and let the other minister speak, and then the next question, the other minister got two minutes exactly, time, they had to do one minute to respond, the whole thing was time. At some point, someone in the audience asked me about enlightenment, the Holy Spirit had a lot to say, until to the time, that was the end. Well, this went on for about 20 minutes. And then someone asked me a question, and I began to answer, but I continued on past two minutes, because the man with the stopwatch did not stop me. And I wasn't paying attention to the time, until the other minister said, wait a minute. This went on for like five or six minutes. The other minister threw his hands in the air and said, stop, this is, David has gone way over two minutes. The man with the stopwatch, he said, no, uh, David used my name in the answer. I wanted to hear what he had to say, so I let him go on for as long as he needed. <laughs> These two ministers, Stopwatch and the other ministers, were in a relationship, and the whole crowd started laughing. And that's how the session ended. Everyone was laughing. Because they had emotions that came up, anger and frustration. But Jesus is in charge, and we have to trust that he's using everything to help us remember to laugh. So you can imagine living your life that way. Not trying to control your children, not trying to control your spouse. Letting go of these concepts in the mind that, that would demand that you control. And really letting Jesus live through you. Learning to relax, not be so concerned about outcomes. And you can see where we can practice this with politics. Uh, we just have to learn to not be so concerned about the outcomes of the world. Because we have so much inner work to do anyway. Why should we invest in outcomes of the world when we, have, we want an outcome of peace of mind?